Hi, this is Amy, and today we're going to continue our Smarter Gmail series. We're on Lesson 4, and this lesson is going to be about labels and folders and some other stuff like that. But we're going to start off with labels versus folders. So um, if you work in education, then you know that especially the administrators you work with love their folders in Outlook. If they're Outlook fans, it's because they have to have their folders over there. And I guess you don't have to tell them that there's really no such thing as folders. That, for example, when they take this email and they drag and drop it over into a folder, it's not really going into a folder. Um, you can pick. I like to kind of rock people's worlds like that, so I tell them that all the time, but maybe you don't want to. And you don't have to if you're implementing Gmail because you can let them think that their folders are still going to be there because they can choose this little folder button up at the top and they can move to a folder or they can create a new. But notice down at the bottom, the truth is here. A folder is really just a label. So you may notice when you send a Gmail, it automatically quote unquote moves to a folder called sent mail. Well, really that's the same thing as a label and archive. But the great thing about the fact that there are no folders is that we can put multiple labels on things. So let's say that this email I have here from Tracy, I want to label uh, BYOT. Let me do uh, create new down here and we'll do a BYOT. And maybe that label goes under one that I already have. Let's say um, we're going to put it under Chromebooks here. Create. Now I've got Chromebooks, BYOT, and I can apply as many labels to this as I want. So let's say that this also has to do with gradebook, which it doesn't, but let's just pretend. So I can have a label there for a gradebook, which you can see is colored also and I can put as many labels on it as I want. When I archive it, because remember if you watched the last video in this series we archive not delete, if I archive it I'm going to be able to pull it back always with those labels and that's whether or not I have the labels displayed over here it's not going to matter I can always just type that in. Like let me see by typing up here what I've got in my grade book label. Let's just look up gradebook and see. Well I pull up now every single thing that has to do with gradebook whether or not I ever even labeled it. So guess what? I don't even need the labels. Let's look a little bit more at how we can sort of control those better. So let's go into our mail settings again and then let's look at our labels up here at the top. So you can see over here I can control whether my labels are shown or hidden. Um, if you have some sort of a mail client that's connected via IMAP, you can choose whether you're going to see these folders on that client. Um, so this is where you can see all that sort of stuff and if you want it to be shown or not. Let's go back to our inbox, which remember is also just a label. It's a label that appears over here on the left hand side. And I've got a ton of labels over here, which I never actually even look at but I do have some colors assigned. You can see that gradebook is green. This is how you set that up by the way. So let's say that um, I want to take anything having to do with M star over here and I want it to be blue and white. Then I can color that label M star and anything that I label M star from now on will have that label in the color that I just designated. So let's label this M star so that you can see it show up. All right, so hopefully that helps with that topic. Hopefully we still have time left today to learn a little bit about Gmail Labs. So Gmail Labs are these cool things that you can turn on in your Gmail account. So you can actually get new features in Gmail before other people get them through the regular settings by going into your mail settings again through the gear in the top right going to labs up here at the top and then looking for some different labs that you might want to install. I'm going to show you um, this one today called Extra Emoji. You're going to turn that one on so here's how you do it. You can search for the lab Extra Emoji. You're going to click Enable and Save. So there will be our example today. I have a lot of different labs on but if you like to send people emoji those are little smiley faces and things like that, then you can 
turn on extra emoji and you can impress all of your friends and relatives by adding in little extra emoticons that they don't have. They'll be like, how did you get that? smiley face in there. Well now you can see I turned on my extra emoji. I have all kinds of stuff. By the way, this one right here is not a hive of bees. So all of you guys whose um, mascots are bees, that's not what this last one is. It's actually poo and flies. So don't send that to people. I know somebody who did that and she was really embarrassed when she found out what it was. The lightning bolt though totally appropriate and great for all occasions. So turn on your extra emoji and check out all of your great Gmail labs. Hope that helps and you learned something new. Have a great day.